So let's talk a little bit about the book. So the book is All The right. Power to Transform. It's leadership that brings learning and schooling to life. Right. And can you describe, you know, in that book you describe a powerful new model really for learning that's had enormous ramifications on teaching mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I think could also have phenomenal ramifications on the workplace as well. So tell me a little bit about the book. So l let me just say why I think we needed a new story map landscape and I'll talk about, you know, I'll sort of refer to that, I referred to that a lot, but why uh -huh. is it that we needed a really new learning model? And my thinking when I wrote the book was there are a couple of um, misperceptions, erroneous ideas about uh, how human systems work. Mm -hmm. We seem to have this notion that really we're mechanical systems and not living systems, so everything we do is designed according to being a mechanical system rather than a, a living system. We have right. fundamentally wrong ideas about the human brain mind because advances in neuroscience have just have just catapulted our thinking in terms of what we now know. Uh -huh. um, the fact that the world is now so interdependent and I think people are recognizing that the ways we traditionally thought about solving problems and the ways we've traditionally thought are simply not going to work in mm -hmm. a very interdependent world where everything is linked. So when Einstein talked about the fact that the minds that created the problems we now have are not going to be able to solve them, that is a real, that, that's really important. Yeah. And the other is this, this chasm between what we know about innovation and what we know about learning and the conditions that we have to create to make it more likely that kids will be innovative and learn in, mm -hmm. in, in very dynamic ways, that is getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So whether it's the fact that everything is linked and we have to think dis differently because traditional thinking is not going to get us there, new advances in learning, so whatever we thought we knew about the brain is no longer true. Uh, the fact that we are a dynamic system and not a mechanical system and this growing chasm in terms of innovation. We have no choice, actually we do have a choice, <laughs> uh, but it's not a wise one, uh, not to change the current system of learning and schooling. Because as mm -hmm. you say, the children that are immersed in the current environments of school, uh, from pre-K to graduating from high school and college, will be the workforce of the 21st 21st century. Yeah. They will be the future. Right. So whatever conditions that they are learning in, um, they, will e they will either bring those to the workplace or they will challenge the workplace. Yeah.